It's your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Um, we got a couple things going on uh, this weekend. It is the 4th of July weekend. Pardon that traffic. But it's the 4th of July weekend, man. We got ribs. I'll tell you what I was cooking. Ribs, rib tips. Basically, I took a spare rib and trimmed it down to a St. Louis rib. Uh, and that's for this video right here. But I'm also doing rib tips, which is the extra meat off of the, uh, the spare rib. We did uh, beef fingers. We did, uh, ooh, I did burgers. Oh my goodness. I think I'm doing swarmers uh, for, the, for the actual fourth itself. Got a lot of stuff going on. And I got two items that were sent to me to do a review on. So stay tuned for those, which are ice machine, a portable ice machine. And don't know how it's gonna work yet, but we'll find out. And I did a uh, loft lighter. Basically, like charcoal. Another means there's so many out there that like charcoal. But stay tuned for my reviews on those. But anyhow, we're gonna talk about these ribs for a minute. Um, the price I got these ribs at was a dollar and maybe dollar twenty three a pound, and uh, that was a sale, half the price. So I jumped on it, and I really want to do baby backs, but there's so many people coming to this cookout um, that I ain't buying ribs for everybody. I'm be real, and if anything, I would have cooked baby backs for myself. And left them at the house. So uh, I didn't do that. So I just bought spare ribs and because uh, they were cheap. And I bought a three pack. And basically, all I'm going to do is uh, open them up. We're going to trim them in the St. Louis ribs. We're going to slice them up, take the extra meat, make that into rib tips, cut it up real good. Finger food, succulent, because it doesn't take six hours to cook. All right? So stay tuned for those two videos. But right now, we'll be back with ribs. St. Louis style, y'all. And we're back, y'all. Just like I said, uh, these are pork spare ribs. I got them for a dollar and something a pound. Um, today is the second, which is, I believe, Saturday. Oh, I don't lost time. Time, man, time be flying. I ain't gonna lie to you. But anyway, um, I'm hoping I got three slabs. We got about one, two, three, four, four families coming over um, tomorrow uh, between the two houses, me and my neighbor. I guess we're the neighborhood hangout now. But anyway, uh, I'm doing ribs and I'm doing, what else I'm doing? Burgers. So I'll be doing burgers. Uh, nothing sweet with them, so ain't no sense in showing you those. Uh, pardon me, I left my refrigerator open. But uh, yeah, so hopefully I got three slabs of ribs. But long story short, what I'm going to do is St. Louis D's, actually, St. Louis them, uh, cut the ends off, make rib tips with the extra. And stay tuned. I'll probably do that in a separate video. I'm going to cut the extras. And I'll probably do the rib tips as a quick, maybe two, three minute video just to separate it. Um, for those that are interested in that, it looks like I got three slabs. Um, maybe even four. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and clean these up. Take out the membrane. I'm going to show you that too. Uh, so bear with me. All I'm going to do is put it in fast forward mode as I'm cleaning them and stuff like that because you guys don't want to see me do that but i'm gonna show it to you just so you see exactly what i'm doing so stay tuned y'all we'll be back all right we're back y'all um this is one of the three slabs uh ribs i got thank goodness um but no real quick look at my new uh cutting board uh it's not that big but uh i got it so i'm required to use it if you know how that goes anyway this is my art artillery on my arsenal of uh, knives that I use when I'm barbecuing, y'all, for the most part, um, without messing with the ones in the house. I will post a link for these. If they still sell them, I'm not sure. I bought them uh, a couple years ago. But anyway, real quick, all I'm gonna do is cut this meat, extra meat, and throw it over here for now. Trim this up to a, uh, what I call it, St. Louis uh, rib. Same ones you buy in the store. Okay, right, so food for a thought. Don't waste your money on St. Louis ribs when you can cut them yourself. If you got a decent knife or, or a cutting block or something, you can sh sharpen your knife. Man, save yourself the headache. Because all they do is sell, sell you that part, basically cut square, sell you this, and then this right here, they sell to somebody else. You're making double the profit off it, even in the store when you buy and barbecue. So uh, just keep that in mind. So with that being said, we're going to go into fast forward, y'all. Stay tuned.
Hey y'all, we back uh, real quick. So obviously you see the three slabs right here. Now you got St. Louis, which you buy in the store for about the same price as almost the spare ribs. Uh, anytime other than the 4th of July, because obviously they don't sell. So I take them and cut them, and look at all the extra meat that you don't get. All this right here was from three slabs. Um, I'm gonna shoot a video on what I do with those. I'm gonna cut them up, um, put them on the grill, and you'll see that too. So I'm gonna show you just how I make rib tips, and we'll go from there. Um, I know you see mustard here, some olive oil, this stuff here. Uh, we're gonna see what it do. Uh, whatever, KC rub. So I'm just we're gonna try it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take mustard, rub it on these two, coat this heavily, and let it sit. I'm gonna wrap them in saran wrap. Hey, if you're a barbecue, you got to have saran wrap. Saran wrap, and go to Costco or Sam's if you got a membership and get the big, let me do my hand so you can see the big, the big, uh, thing of aluminum foil because you're going to use that consistently and I also have some uh, uh, Parchment paper the uh, peach flavor um, But we'll talk about that another day. Anyway, uh, stay tuned like I said I'm gonna keep this in fast forward so I can speed this video up. I'm not testing this yet So I'm actually putting it in the refrigerator, but I'm gonna season these Put them uh, mustard season them and This one my specialty. I'm gonna do olive oil and my secret recipe. Can't show you that one yet. Uh, maybe one day, but just not today. So stay tuned, y'all. We're going to knock these two out real quick. Wash your hands when you're doing this. You should be washing them anyway. But uh, that's my fun fact for the day. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Or whoever you support. Uh, yeah, I'm going to flip these over. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. That's all you need. Yep. Just making sure you get it on there. That's the end result. So, fun fact here. Um, mustard. I know you see mustard and some people may not like mustard, but you will never taste the mustard in the end. I promise you that. You will never taste the mustard in the end. All right. I'm going to go here. I'm going to spread it with my hands too as well. Remember you taking that membrane off. You want to rub it in. Massage that. <laughs> Massage that meat. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to go overly with it. Flip it over. See that mustard still stays there. And that's what this is for. See how that sticks to the. To the. Uh. uh for the politi politically correct, it adheres to the meat, the poultry. Excuse me, it adheres to the poultry for the politically correct. Uh, but for us backyard barbecuers, sticking to the meat. Uh, the olive oil does the same thing. Once again, it's about preference. Uh, no biggie, you're not gonna taste either. Um, if you taste mustard, then you really got one of them, 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 them taste buds that you need to be tasting wine or something like that, or smelling coffee and telling what's in it. You need to be on that level. But uh, this is us, and we just rubbed it in. Yep. I do a circular uh, just for the simple fact of, if you can see the lines in the meat, I like to just get it in the grains if I can. Probably didn't do anything, but that's just my my psyche. Getting it, getting it done. Like I said, all I'm gonna do is wrap these in aluminum foil, and I'm, I'm going to wash this thing out, dry it, uh, wrap these in aluminum foil, 
and I'm gonna show you the final product. This one's gonna sit on top, but it's gonna be an aluminum, not aluminum foil, excuse me, uh, saran wrap. Uh, so they're gonna bleed through on the other ones. So stay tuned, y'all. Welcome back, ladies and gents. We are back, man. We got three slabs, St. Louis cut. Uh, we're gonna throw them on. We're gonna put the uh, the rib tips on later. Stay tuned for that video. Um, and we're gonna go from there. It's pretty simple. We're gonna put this on. It's at 250. Not sure if you can see it. I opened the lid just a minute ago just to spray it down with some uh, cheap ass canola oil. Get you some. Got my handy dandy gloves on because I got uh, people coming over. You want to be sanitary always. So never even 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 question that when somebody got gloves on. Actually, I would prefer somebody to have gloves on if I'm coming to eat. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put these slabs on while y'all looking. Uh, grill good and go. As soon as I put this meat on, this gonna drop to 225 ish, and then it'll come back up to 250. Uh, that's just the way meat does. If you know anything about barbecuing, you know you have to be strategic in how you do things. Yeah. The reason why I'm separating them like this, I would take this top off, but I got uh, uh these two are, are the season the same, so I wanna make sure that I don't, it, it, you know, throughout the day. As I start uh, consuming alcoholic beverages, that uh, my eyes don't get Chinese, and uh, I start talking crazy on these videos and forget which rib, which slab of ribs is which. So anyway, as soon as I put this on, we're gonna close this lid and let it go for about uh, I'm thinking six hours maybe. Uh, we'll see. See how they uh, they flow. And then we're gonna come from there. So we'll be back, y'all. Stay tuned. This is uh 10 a.m. in the morning. I'm running a little late. 10.05, that's late. Military time. But then anyway, we'll be back, y'all. So stay tuned and watch how these how these different ribs come together, y'all. All right, back y'all, barbecues. We back, man. Hey, hey, I see no lies. Anyway, uh, let's check on these uh these ribs. I'm gonna uh Secret concoction. Comment below if you uh, know what's in now. Uh, check out these ribs, y'all. Give y'all a real close look. I decided to put my rack back in now, uh, just because it was sitting out. But uh, on the left, right here, you got rib tips. You got that beef turning into real beef, and also you got the pork ribs right there, three slabs. So. Um, that's really it. Nothing to do here. Two hour mark. Oh, let me show you something real quick. All I'm doing is spritzing. And I'm gonna show you this real quick. Remember that thing I was telling you about that we put wood pellets in this? I got it sitting over here and then just letting the smoke come out of it uh, with my wood chips. Cheers. Just trying something different to find the best uh, location for it. So stay tuned as these ribs uh, change colors, y'all. We'll be back. All right, back, y'all, barbecues. We are back. It has approached the three-hour mark. I have it set at 265. I bumped it up a little bit um, just because I washed it out earlier today. And it was still wet, so it was still hovering around. Even though this, I had it at 250, it was still saying it was uh, on my temp gauge. It's about 200. So I bumped it up a little bit just to go ahead and um, get the uh, the water out of the metal um, and then go to straight heat. But anyway, let's see what these uh, ribs look like. Spare ribs, y'all. Ooh, buddy. Yep. Yeah. It's about time to maybe wrap those. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Huh? Huh? Bobby Flay? Bobby Ray? Whatever your name is? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I watch I watch those uh, TV shows, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not really a big fan of uh, uh, everybody. Let me get this aluminum foil. Everybody. Uh, big Mo. I like him just because uh, he got that, uh, that southern mentality. But... Let me turn this around so y'all can see what I'm doing. Get y'all a good view. 
Y'all look at my so-called pun. Uh, they still building out here, as you all may or may not know. So hopefully that turns into something. As you can see, the grass, let me give you a little view real quick. The grass right there, they haven't put it down. They just started putting grass. Um, supposed to be some condos over there, that type thing. Whatever. Oh, but back to business. All right, so I'm about to take these ribs. I'm about to wrap them. Put a, put a apple juice on them. I was gonna do butter and brown sugar. Um, I'll be honest with you, that's more of a competition thing. Um, and it, it's all about taste at the end of the day. All about taste. Uh, up to you. But this right here, like I said, apple juice. Um, I tell you, if you're not careful, uh, what'll happen is the apple juice will be fine. All the apple juice is creating steam. All right, a form of steam. Keep it from burning. But when you put butter, and not so much the butter, the uh, the uh brown sugar. When you put the brown sugar in, you gotta be careful with that because if you overdo it, then the brown sugar will stick. And then your meat will be sticking to the aluminum foil instead of it doing what we call the three, two, one method. And I explain that to the uh to the uh average cats that have, don't know about it yet. Um and then we'll go from there. So y'all don't have to watch me do all three. Let me turn the video around. And then y'all can see me Run my mouth, and we'll we'll go for what we know. All right, put the apple juice top on there, and we go flies in there. All right, so three, two, one method, right? What that is is, after you get your grill up to temp, usually I do about two fifty. Uh, you can do two twenty five if you're gonna do it for an extended period of time, but I highly recommend two twenty five, right? Three, two, one method. What that is is, if you do the math, three plus two plus one is six. That's six hours, right? The first three hours, all you want to do is pump smoke into it or charcoal. I'm using cherry wood today, um, cherry wood chips on the side. Um, you can probably still see the smoke steaming up from it. Um, that's the first three hours, just pumping straight heat to it, right? Uh, you spritz it. What I do is, as soon as I put the ribs on, at the two hour mark, exactly two hours, I come with my spray bottle, get it from Home Depot. I'll post a link in the description for that too, if you want one. Just so you're using the same stuff I have. Uh, it ain't rocket science and it's cheap probably about i don't know eight dollars maybe but i'll post the link anyway in the description so on top of that what i do is at the two hour mark i will spritz it right at the three hour mark i will look at it and if it looks dry or whatever i'll spritz it but it doesn't really matter because at the three hour mark is when you put in aluminum foil right like as i just did right this is for two more hours now two hours of aluminum foil what this does is you cook the meat and it's almost like you baking the meat then to make this make it tender. And the last hour, what I'm gonna do is take it out of the aluminum foil and sit it back on the grill. And then when I take it out, the meat that's loose and tender will tighten back up. And it makes for a perfectly cooked rib. That's only for St. Louis and uh, spare ribs, right? If you're doing baby backs, they got a, a method called 221. And let me put this rib on here as I'm talking to you. Uh, Cause time is of essence. They got a, 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 a thing called 221. And it's the same method. It's only two hours because the rib is smaller. Uh, two hours on the smoke. And then you'll go from two hours to approximately two hours in aluminum foil. And then one hour back on the grill. Same method. Um, I highly recommend you try try the uh, the beef. Not the beef, the, uh, the brown sugar and the the brown sugar and the man i'm losing my mind oh the butter uh when you wrap it all right just try it i flip my meat upside down uh with the bones up in the air um even though i took the membranes off that's not where i want my uh brown sugar and and butter to be right so try that out um i got a couple of videos where i actually did that on big bursting which is uh my big grill for those that don't know. Uh, try it out, let me know what you think. Or let me know what your taste, uh, taste buds are like. 
or hell, even comment below and let me know what your secrets are. I'm willing to try them on live, on video, or whatever, and see if yours are better than mine. Because at the end of the day, I want to cook what's good to the people. So if yours is better than mine, I salute you. I'm going to give you a shout out. Maybe even send you something if it tastes better than mine. So there you go. Send me one of your videos or send me a recipe and I'll try it. Uh, but without further ado, let me go ahead and get these ribs done because I'm running my mouth. And my food is on the clock. Remember I told you about that 3 2 one method? I'm in my two-hour window now, so I got to get to it, y'all. We'll be back. Yo, yo, we back. I got my grill over there, uh, Baby Blue. That's the name for the day, Baby Blue, uh, doing this thing. I'm about to take these uh, ribs off. It's been uh, five hours. I'm gonna take them off. I got my cutting board over here. Let me turn it so you can see and give you a better look. Yep, got my aluminum foil. My neighbor, he already brought over uh, Actually, we're gonna show you show you the left of it. Chicken. We over here getting down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's about to be crunk around here. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz this a little bit. I'm gonna take this off. And I'm gonna just do one, y'all. So y'all can see what I'm doing. And then we're gonna go from now. Real simple. All we doing, you probably ask me why I'm taking it to the cutting board. I'm doing something different. Let me open it up. Let y'all get a look. Let me open it up real quick. It's only for transferring it from the cutting board. Let me see if y'all can see. Uh, that's probably the best I'm going to get. Hey, let's, let's give you a quick look. See how them bones coming out? Now I need my meat to tighten back up. So, what I'm going to do is put it back on here. Remember what I told you about the 3 2 one method? This is the part one of that method. This is why you need some extremely long tongues, too. Yep. All I'm doing is transporting it over here to the grill. So stick with me. There we go. Let me show y'all that. And then uh, we're going to do the second one. Let it go for an hour. And then uh, I'm taking the rib tips off. I'm going to flip these up. Yeah, that, yeah, that's looking good. Everything, right on time too. You see, that's the beauty of using all uh, the three, two, one. You can stay on schedule. You can all uh, map out your day. You know what I mean? Stay tuned, y'all. 